Ryan, what are you expecting uh, from your group, uh, you know, after trying to rebound from Labor Day going into Saturday's game against Ottawa? Yeah, we've got to find a way to, to get a win, right? I told our guys we, we can't be feeling sorry for ourselves. You know, five-day week, didn't play our best last week at the end to win it. And, you know, for, mentally we got to be strong, right? Mentally strong and physically we'll play uh, up to par where we need to. I know guys are beat up right now. It's five-day week. But if we're mentally strong, we push through it, we should be okay. What have you liked from Chad here in the last two games? Well, I think we're throwing the ball down the field a little bit more now. Um, not as one-dimensional in our past game. Uh, you know, him, him escaping, too, with his legs, right? Moving the, the chains with his legs and also, you know, getting those guys in the second windows when he's climbing up and getting those linebackers to come down. So, uh, add another element to us. Uh, we're just not quite there offensively. We're getting better, um, but we got a long ways to go. What have you made of the Red Blacks this season, Is, and, and especially at home? I mean, they're 5-0-1 at home. I'm just curious, what have you made of them this year, and, and what's made them so prolific? Yeah, they're doing a good job, you know, all three phases. You know, Deadman's a, a dangerous you know, guy on special teams. They play hard on special teams. Uh, you know, defensively, they got a lot of guys back, same scheme. So they've, they've built and they've gotten better there. And offensively, a little bit more dynamic, you know, pushing the ball down the field. They got a good receiving group. You know, a lot of those guys are beat up right now. But they're pretty creative on offense. And uh, we got to make sure we take, you know, those big chunk plays that they're getting off their misdirection and play actions. You talk about big chunk plays. I mean, I mean, last week Hamilton. I mean, there was three plays for you know, you know, 48, 51, on 70 yards. Um, defensively, how do you guys limit that and, and get back to what you guys were doing well? You know, not surrendering more than 30 points in the last six games prior to coming into Labor Day. Yeah, we got to do a better job on the back end. You know, Metchie got stuck on the one, and then you know he tried to retrace and just couldn't make a play on it. And then we also do got to do a better job up front. Uh, our pass rush, you know, they, that was that wasn't there last week. So then, you know, Bo's feeling comfortable in the pocket, and uh, you know, having the opportunity to climb the pocket and, and find those you know throws down the field where if we get a good pass rush he's not gonna have the opportunity for that did you like it even the pistol last week yeah we always do i mean uh you know we like to get them going and unfortunately our second and you know four or less the run game hasn't been there you know we were running the ball well but when the gotta have it runs and um you know the teams are no more running it and we got to move the chains we haven't been able to do that so uh we're gonna be a little bit more aggressive sometimes on some of our rundowns obviously you know lots of time before saturday um but I mean, the way that Labor Day ends with Deshaun coming off the field, kind of holding a holding his hand, but very encouraging to see him here at practice today. Not to you know tip your hand or anything like that, but uh, you speak on that. Yeah, I mean, he got hurt at the end. Uh, you know, he wants to play. Um, you know, he's limited right now. Uh, questionable for us, so we'll see. Um, you know, guys always want to play, but they got to be open and honest with me that they can play a full 60, right? And we also got to evaluate that and sometimes take it out of their hands and uh, we make a decision for them. So there's about three guys right now. We're not sure, you know, how the roster is going to play out. We got to make a decision here today and you know, potentially go all the way into the game day. Is Sirocco one of those guys that could potentially be coming back, or what's his status kind of like? I wish, but no, Sirocco's going to probably be out the whole year. He's got to get a, a little cleanup procedure. We've been waiting to get done, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, I haven't got him in to see the doctor get it cleaned up. So get to clean up here, you know, fairly soon. I think you have a shot at the end. How about when, you know, he's been... I know he's been limited. He's been. It looks like he's been close. But where do you feel he's at? Yeah, he's close. You know, I think you know at this stage you probably have to go the full six, right? We pull him off, then we're gonna eat four game checks as a salary cap. Just you know, can't happen. So uh, he's close. Uh, I think if uh, we had to with this playoff game, we'd get him on the field. But uh, he'll probably go the full six. The other guys are playing well too. We got to make sure he's ha you know healthy and happy at the end. Ryan, what have you seen from Flo here in the last couple of games too? You know, coming back to the defense, obviously a big sack last week against Hamilton. Yeah, I mean, Flo's a good player. You know, missed him for the six games. I was unfortunate. Um, you know, one of the best pass rushers in the league. So get him back. If we can get him, you know, getting one or two sacks and you know a game, he also has four or five hurries. He'll deliver sacks to the other guys as well. Thank you, Ryan. All right, thanks.